diabetic foot ulcers they develop because of narrowing of the blood vessels involving the legs which can cause circulatory deficiency leading to skin cracks and leading to formation of ulcers which don't heal for a period of more than 8 weeks because they don't heal for a period of more than 8 weeks they also get infection which can lead on to sepsis leading on to amputation in people who don't uh, attend to this properly so who are all the patients who are prone to develop diabetic foot ulcers people who have erratic sugar control who have diabetes for more than 10 years people who are already have diabetes in addition to diabetes they have renal failure vision problem and also coronary artery disease have multi systemic disease with diabetes are prone to have diabetic foot ulcers so in the case of diabetic foot ulcers we do a doppler scan to identify the circulatory deficiency which segment of the arteries are involved and today we have minimally invasive treatment for treatment improving the blood supply like uh, angiogram angioplasties stenting and also there are various advancements in angioplasty and stenting where we use the latest techniques to open out the blocked arteries and to improve the blood supply thereby uh, allowing the diabetic foot ulcers to heal